Hello, I'm standing here at uh, Fillet Park in Copenhagen, Denmark, on the 1st of May with Socialistic uh, People's Party Chairman Pia Olsen Dyr. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about, well, Socialistic People, People's Party, who is actually on the way up again. It was a little bit, it had a very bad turn for a while, but now suddenly it's up. How much do you think um, the media is influencing the people's opinion in general? Uh, actually quite a lot because uh, many Danes or um, in general get their opinion from the media where we have the opportunity to speak our opinions but it's cut down so sometimes you have to move fast or be the uh, be the first mover is if your point of view is going to reach the Danes and you also have to be aware that in Denmark we have nine parties so it's not that easy to get speaking time so you have to be a little uh, naughty sometimes. Do you think it's actually a good thing or do you think it's very selected? Do you think it's very indoctrinating, forming people's opinion, so it's not really a free will and a free press? Well, I think it's a free press, but I would say that they very much form the same agenda. When people are going down, they're following the people going down and making a circle. And the same with people going up, there is a circle up. But also today in the day's media, where it's 24 hours a day, one could say that we have all the opportunities, but it's very similar where it, on the different channels. But then we also have Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, where it's possible for us politicians to communicate directly with our voters. Why is it so important to vote for socialistic people, uh, the Socialistic People's Party instead of all the other parties? Does it really matter to vote? Because there are so many different parties and I mean it's basically always the same type of uh, government that gets in. Well, there is a change between a blue and a red government and in Denmark the red government is the left-wing government. I would say that there is a difference and the Socialistic People's Party is Denmark's Green Party. That's one reason to vote on SF, but the other one is also that we are the party on the left wing who are interested in going in and making the compromises also sometimes when it's difficult. We're not just sitting outside saying we have all the right opinions, but we don't. Hi, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the right opinions, but we don't. We're not interested in making any com kind of compromises. So we are. An, I'm saying that we are a left party, but we are also an inter a party interested in making compromises. So when we are listening to the media and they're influencing us, why is there something they're never telling us? Such as when the Bilderberg meeting was having their meeting last year in Denmark, it was and no press was allowed inside. And also the press never talk about what some world leaders have talked about, the financial and political implementation of a new world order. Why don't we hear that in the press, for example? Well, we, you're talking about it and I'm guessing you also are the press, so I would say it depends on which kind of press. If you're talking about the general mainstream, you would never hear about it, but you would also find it still on the internet and there you can actually see free press. But why don't we hear about it? I mean, it's something people should know about in a democracy, shouldn't they? That they talk about a, a New World Order and a Bilderberg meeting where, where political agendas are being formed and implemented in, you know, in the in the population? Well, I think you can still find the information. You can find it on the internet. And of course, you could say that the media has to do it. But as it is a free media, I should not, as a politician, say what they should cover and not cover. Thank you.